We just got new NBA 2K24 news along with the trailer, so let's check it out. All right, so here you can see here, this is the courtside report that dropped along with the actual gameplay trailer itself. I'm not going to show the gameplay trailer in my video, but be sure to go check that out because it actually is pretty fire. So what some of the differences are, uh, if you are an EAFC fan, when they did their trailer, they introduced their new engine that they're using. Pro play is very similar to that. Instead of just being so mocap heavy in certain aspects of the game of NBA 2K, they're actually pulling from real life action and putting it into the game. So I will show this little snippet of Kevin Durant side by side that was also in the trailer. So you can see in the game film on the left, everything mimicked to perfection out there on the right side. Then they did my boy Harrison Barnes dirty with it. But hey, he got, is that even him? Damn. They just said, man, Harrison Barnes getting the clip, get cooked. So that's basically what the pro play technology is going to do. I think it is really cool. Uh, I, I I think it'll make things a little bit more free flowing compared to some of the stiff animations that you might end up seeing in some of the game. Your favorite players, for example, students at the game, Avid NBA fans, Kevin Durant, Unique Jumper, things along those lines. And of course, let's jump into some of the better parts of this. We got some new animations. We got different jump shots, dunks, layups, dribble moves pass animations, and signature movement as well. Shot timing. Greener mission 100% be in the game. It's one of the, the only skill gaps that we truly have to eliminate, eliminate some sort of RNG factor in the game when it comes to shooting. But it says players who play Hall of Fame difficulty or in the rec or city will be playing with green or miss shot timing for the ultimate challenge. But team control base modes like quick play, my NBA, my team, We'll see more forgiving shot timing, so you won't have to mes memorize, mesmerize. So, you know, I kind of get a lot of these guys' jump shots suck. They're really slow, really hard to time. Uh, shot timing release time setting from maybe 2 k 2 has been converted to a new setting called shot timing visual cue. Now, instead of a time base, you can set your desired release point based on certain animation cues, like the jump or set point or shot release. This makes it much easier for players at teams you're not familiar with. Okay, that'll be very interesting. Next up is layup timing. Uh, as you might have seen some tweets from before, uh, kind of ramping up to NBA 2K24, they said that they are done with the real player percentages, which has been a big deal. I mean, I used it because I've never been able to time layups. So I think there's been a little hidden bug on the back end that's been kind of going down with the layup timing. So I think they got it figured out now because of the dunk meter as well. But it's now on by default and has also been redesigned. So I'm excited for that. You know, like I said, I, my, my main thing with a lot of sports games in general is the RNG factor of it, which I feel like hinders some competitive play at times. The more that you could take away from the the game of chance, having to go your way, whatever algorithm they use, and putting a lot of the stuff directly to timing is honestly going to be for the better. Moving into dunking. For dunkers on new-gen consoles, you can now force controllable rim hangs from any two-hand by simply keeping the sprint. So this was actually already in the game last year. Bigs are going to have a lot of fun. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big man. Paint play. Uh, but dominating the paint in NBA 2K24, you can now branch out on any offensive rebound to do any putback attempt by simply pressing the shoot button after the catch. Post fades and hop shots are also really effective shots for post players. Strength and weight can definitely be felt in the paint as a high-rated glass cleaner easily grab boards over smaller players and finish those easy second chance points. Yes. Because strength only mattered when you made your guy max weight. That is the only time it ever really felt something down to the paint. So I'm very excited to see that. And I hope it stays true throughout the entirety of the year. So now, all you dribble heads out here. Dribble Breakdown. Mike Wang did an entire video about some of the dribbling. Things along those lines. Uh, each player has two versions. Regular breakdowns are done by flicking up on the right analog stick. And aggressive breakdowns are done by flicking... The right analog stick with sprint held. This will initiate a sequence of size of moves. So it seems like just from that little sentence, a little bit of 2K19. With the way that that was dribbling, a little flick up on a stick. It does the drum moves that you could combo out of that. Oh, what is this? Another major addition to the dribbling arsenal is the blowout dribble. Tapping the sprint trigger will, while moving will give you a quick burst of speed where the ball handler pushes the ball ahead to get out quickly in transition. And now, the one thing that nobody likes and people have really hated since they introduced it to the game of NBA 2K, adrenaline boosts are back, but they've been redesigned to make offense and defense more engaging at the same time. On offense, boosts are no longer lost while pulling after the combos or moving short distances, giving elite ball handlers much more freedom to create off the bounce. That is what people wanted. It was the whole putting the ball on the floor, making a move, one adrenaline gone. Making another one, another adrenaline gone. Now, once you got to one at that point, uh, you're not really getting anything up. So I really do like those changes. And it appears that the adrenaline boosts are only going to go down when the on-ball defender can bump you. So this tells me it's going to be a little bit probably more bump animations that we saw in some old 2Ks. Like going back, I believe it was like 16 and 17. Wondering how they're really going to balance that out. 
uh, to where, because again, like you go, you picture this, if there's a full court press, someone's running up the floor, they bump you once, boom, you're already two adrenalines before you're passing half court. You get bumped once more, then you got one. But creating your own shot off the dribble isn't the only way to get good shots in a game of basketball. Knowing how to operate away from the ball is just as important. NBA 2K24 features in-depth off-ball offensive controls to perform right analog stick jukes and other quick explosive moves to free yourself up for a shot or cut to the basket. Just like the ball handler, off-ball offense also supports speed burst by tapping the sprint trigger. These players will be given a huge burst of speed. Uh, the right stick feature has been in the game for a long time, but it's been useless. It, it, it has done absolutely nothing for your guy. I think the thing that's catching my eye is this burst of speed when you press sprint. I think it's going to make for some pretty cool deck scenarios uh, for a lot of the off-ball guys. Along with the changes to adrenaline, counter moves are big in NBA 2K24. Perimeter and paint defense are the both more effective and reward players for anticipating and making good reads. Revamped contest logic it puts greater weight on the body position compared to previous years. The new system addresses the ghost contest. So good to see that the ghost contests are being addressed. For you to go out there and get proper contest, you have to jump at it. But also when you're jumping at it, you're also getting whistle for shooting fouls a lot. And it's become more current uh, since they've introduced next gen to where when you are jumping, you are getting more fouls. So I, I really want to see if they're maybe going to cut down on that or if it really is going to be the timing base and, and, and kind of what system have they implemented into the game to be able to get it. The biting on fakes, if uh, for all you old heads out there like me, if you remember back like NBA 2K11, 12, you could pump fake into the fouls. It was actually an exploit that was banned on a lot of tournament websites. But I wonder if that's going to be back. But good to see them addressing the ghost contest. Because I feel like a lot of people saw that. And they kind of just turned a blind eye. And like, oh, you know, whatever. New difference to the takeover system. So a different spin this year. Jump right to this paragraph. When you fill up the takeover meter, you can pull up a menu that lets you choose between finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense, slash rebounding, or physicals. Acting one of those categories will boost all your ratings for the specific category. So now you have the ability to evaluate what's happening on the floor. So during the game, basically, when you reach takeover, it's going to be a little menu to pop up. I would assume it's going to be something like the uh, the substitution menu where you go down, you just kind of select what you want. And of course, we're going to lock my mentality. It'll activate your double takeover, boost all your attributes into categories, making you a true beast on both ends of the floor. So Mama Mentality's back, of course, as you probably would expect, along with the double takeover. And then the rest of this stuff I'm not really going to jump into. You can catch it in the article. I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Uh, comment what you guys think, what you're excited for after seeing this. I, I think the pro play is going to be something that's really cool added into the game. Uh, I'm excited to see how it ends up playing out. But drop a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll keep you guys up to date with more news as I see it. Also, follow my TikTok because I post the news out there too.